So when our band was in the studio on Sunday, I didn't get any footage. I'm really sorry about that. I said that in my video on Monday. But I wanted to show you this video clip of a bunch of pictures because Brian got a hold of my video camera and decided that he was going to be cool enough to take pictures of himself. So here's some pictures. It's kind of a weird thing. It's kind of an odd thing that he decided to do this. He also ended up making this my background wallpaper and screwing up my entire computer uh, because he's my best friend. I thought you'd enjoy these. Let's start the show. Everybody does a top 10 of 2008, which is kind of fun to read because it's good to argue and bicker back and forth about who is the best of the year. I'm going to do a top 10 artist of the year because I can't pick the albums. I, don't, I just can't. But I'm going to do a top 10 artist. I would usually be biased and pick a lot more punk bands, but I'm going to try and do it according to record sales and uh, who gained more popularity and, and whatnot this year. Let's start with number 10. I'm going to say the Gaslight Anthem because i got to be biased somewhere in this thing. And I... I'm going to be biased right now because number 10, I think Gaslight Anthem created a cool sound, mixed this old blues rock type sound with the punk sound and made something of their own and they started really making it big this year. Number 9, let's talk about Taylor Swift because she was all over MySpace, all over YouTube and she had two albums that came out this year and they both just made tons of money. And number 8, you got to have a band like ACDC on here because ACDC just went crazy this year. I mean, they went out on tour, they went and made a new record and... They just sound as good as they did in 1979. Madonna comes in at number 7 because she signed a deal with Live Nation and just went all across the country this year. Her album Hard Candy, that album just went ballistic, went nuts. Every album that Madonna puts out just goes insane. And the tour actually became a bigger tour than the last couple of tours that she's had. At number six, I gotta put my good friends Rise Against because, again, I'm gonna be biased here. Uh, I think they had a miraculous album, just been going crazy on tour ever since, and they haven't stopped. I know because I know their drummer Brandon. They've been playing sold out shows everywhere they go. And the shows have been amazing, and I'm really excited for those guys. At number five, it's Metallica, just because, like, ACDC and Madonna, which I never thought I'd put those two things ever together, they actually made a great album and started touring again. They worked with Rick Rubin, and it just went back to that old school Metallica style. Number four, for me has to be the Flowbots, not because I'm being biased here, but because they had a great year. They are the new political band out there, and 2008 had to be a great year for them because they got to play the DNC, they got to go and meet Rage Against the Machine, they sold out tours everywhere, and they went from, at the beginning of the year, being just the Denver local band, to now being known all across the nation, almost all over the world. Number three has to be Lil Wayne, not because I like him, I actually don't really care for any of his music, but he was a multi-million dollar seller this year, and his song Lollipop was everywhere. Top two are really tough for me, but I gotta put Radiohead at number two because Radiohead completely reinvented the music industry. They decided to put their album up online and said people can pay however much they want for it. Well, some people ended up paying them a lot of money. Some people ended up paying no money. Actually, a lot of people ended up paying no money. At number one, I gotta say Coldplay. I mean, they blew everyone away with Viva La Vida. They have a lot of staying power and then they can keep on rocking and keep on being original every time that they come out. Thanks everybody for sitting through this and, and keeping up with the top 10 artists of 2008. If you want to, post below the top 10 albums or artists that you thought this year. The show's on Saturday. We're not too far away. If you want to buy tickets, link's over in the sidebar. Everybody be safe. Everybody have fun. If you're going out, uh, remember not to drink and drive. Have a good night.